It's common knowledge that the Tensor G5 chipset inside the Pixel 10 series is not nearly as good as its Snapdragon competitors. And I am here at Snapdragon Summit and I've just seen the launch of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, which is now probably the most powerful processor that you can get in the Android world. Now, I wanna talk about this and this is something that I shy away from a lot because I don't think benchmarks matter. I don't care about benchmarks. Benchmarks are just numbers on a page that make you feel good about how powerful your phone is. When it comes to everyday usage, I think that the Tensor G5 chipset is perfectly fine for 99% of people out there. But I do wanna point out just how much better the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is compared to Tensor G5. So let me show you some benchmark scores here. Starting with Geekbench 6, which goes over the CPU performance, we're seeing about a 40% better single core score over the Pixel 10 Pro and Tensor G5. And with multi-core, we're seeing about a 52% better score over the Pixel 10 Pro. Basically, this means that Tensor G5 is about half as good as the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 when it comes to CPU processing. But wait, because we still have to talk about the GPU. So for this, we did 20 runs of the 3D Mark Wildlife stress test. And when comparing the lowest loop scores between the Tensor G5 and the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, we see that the Elite is about 43% faster. And when comparing the best loop scores, the Elite is about 59% faster. Obviously, this means that if you are a big mobile gamer, you should not be buying a Pixel 10 and should be buying a phone with a Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 inside. It's going to be the best for mobile gaming, probably in the entire industry, but certainly it's going to be better than Tensor G5. I want to emphasize two things here. Number one, I don't think these numbers matter. Yes, they probably make you feel really good about buying your phone because you know that your numbers are a lot higher than other numbers. But really, in day-to-day -day usage, Tensor G5 is going to do everything you needed to do just fine. And I also want to point out that the numbers that I've got here come from a Snapdragon reference device. In other words, a device that Qualcomm created specifically to run benchmarks. So, Real world numbers, when you actually get a real phone with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in it, are probably going to be a lot lower. I wanted to make sure I made this video just to make sure that people understand, even if you're Pixel fans, just how much more powerful this chip is than Tensor G5 and how much further Google has to go before all the benchmark people lay off of our case. Until then, we just have to be happy that we know that our phones are great, we love them, and we don't care about the numbers on the sheet.